Hi, so we're here just doing some redox experiments and the first one is very straightforward. It's one that you've probably seen before. It's reacting hydrochloric acid with magnesium metal. So I'm going to pop the link for this video here so that you can watch this again, again, again. It's like a, a paradox, but um, in any case, what you'll do is add a small amount of hydrochloric acid in the bottom of your test tube um, and then add a little strip of magnesium ribbon. I've got some here. Um, it's really small. It's silver. Quite, quite shiny stuff, right? So you just put one of those in the test tube. And you need to make some observations. Um, you can, you will, you will see some bubbles forming, right? You will see fizzing. So in order to determine what gas it is, um, you can collect some of the gas in an upside down test tube. The gas is hydrogen, so to confirm this, you would assume that hydrogen being um, low density will, will rise up into this test tube. When you collect it and um, ignite it, it will explode, and when you have a little amount in a test tube, that kind of gives you that pop sound. So we're going to go to the lab and do this experiment and show you what you're expecting to see. And then we'll come back and do the write-up. Okay, so... We're in the lab, I'm going to do this experiment. So I've got a test tube here and some hydrochloric acid. Pour that in about a centimetre worth at the bottom. And then we're just going to add a little strip of magnesium. So we'll see if we can hear anything, but I'll tell you what we're, what we're experiencing. So we're seeing some nice bubbles of gas fizzing. So here's the magnesium slowly, slowly disappearing. It's getting smaller, getting bubbles of gas. And what I'm doing is just giving it a bit of shake, make sure it can all react. We may not see this magnesium completely disappear if we don't add enough acid to react with it. But we are still getting some fizzing, and it's feeling quite warm. It's like kind of cup of tea that's been sitting for a while, warm. All right, so while I've been shaking, I've actually had a test tube um, over top. So I've been collecting some of the hydrogen gas up in here. And what we can do is light a splint and just put the lit splint up into the test tube. And if it is hydrogen gas, it will ignite. Um, explode and we're going to get a popping sound. So we'll see if we can get all that hydrogen gas kind of up in the top of the test tube. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so coming back um, after having done that in the lab, let's look at how we can write up what we saw. So observations would be something like um, you don't say that hydrogen gas is produced because you can't see that but you can see bubbles forming um, or fizzing you can also um, maybe feel some heat coming off that and you also would see that like the magnesium looks like it's disappearing so you don't say dissolved because it's actually reacting. So you can just say what you see is that the magnesium ribbon disappears. Cool. Um, so then writing the half equations, you have to show what is happening with this magnesium and what's happening with this acid. It takes a bit of practice and a bit of um, just experience. But oxidation is a loss of electrons. Now the magnesium is changing from the magnesium atom as a solid in the metal um, and that is going to the magnesium ion. It's reacting and now in the solution you'll have magnesium ions dissolved in the liquid. So we're going to have Mg2+. Mg2 plus is an ion with a positive charge, which means it's lost two negative electrons. So to make sure this is balanced, we will just show that those two electrons are, have been lost. 
by the original magnesium, like that. So you know that if you have your electrons written here on the right hand side that that is an oxidation reaction. What's happening with the um, hydrochloric acid is that you actually have hydrogen and chloride ions in that acid. You form hydrogen gas, so that means that something is happening with the hydrogen. So you have got hydrogen ions, they are changing to hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is H2. So how did that happen? Well, hydrogen is obviously hooking up with another hydrogen ion, but because they're ions, I mean, here the hydrogen gas has a neutral charge overall, means that some electrons have to come into play here. So there are two hydrogens here. We need to make sure that we show that. So we have just gone and drawn a two there. So we have two hydrogens on this side, two on that side. We also have to make sure the charges are balanced. So these hydrogens, each one has gained one electron. So for two hydrogens, we also have to have two electrons gained here. So this is on the left-hand side. This is a reduction or a gain in electrons. To write the balanced full equation, we need to say this is what we started with. So we're going to put all of this together, and then we're going to have an arrow, right? And then all of the stuff we have, um, we're left with, we, we produce. You'll notice that on both sides of the arrow, we've got two electrons. So they will actually cancel, a bit like if they were on some different sides of an equal sign. So we get left with one magnesium reacting with two hydrogen ions. A transfer of electrons takes place and we get magnesium ions formed and hydrogen gas. Chloride in this is just like a spectator ion, it's not actually involved in the reaction. So to justify how you know this is oxidation or reduction, you could say that the, get a different pen, the magnesium has lost two electrons. Okay, and those have turned up over there. So magnesium atom loses two electrons to become a magnesium ion. You could also use oxidation numbers. So you can choose which one is um, better for you to do. So magnesium as an element has an oxidation number of zero. And then as a single ion, it's going to have the same oxidation number as the ion's charge. So it's going to be a plus two here. So that's an increase in oxidation number that implies that oxidation has occurred. And you see, so you could also say um, oxidation number of magnesium goes from zero to two, which is an increase, which means oxidation has occurred. Uh, and the same thing for reduction, you can say here that each, well here you have to just be careful, you have to say each hydrogen atom is going to gain one electron each. Um, it's just that that's happening in a ratio of two to two. So each hydrogen ion gains an electron um, and then two of those happen, you get a hydrogen gas molecule forming. Okay, so H plus ion gains one electron, that happens kind of twice, and that's how you can get H2. Or you could look at the um, oxidation number. Here, the hydrogen itself is going to have a plus one oxidation number. And then here, an atom of hydrogen in its elemental form is going to have an oxidation number of zero. So you could also justify it by saying um, H plus um, oxidation number decreases from plus one to zero, which means reduction has occurred. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a run through um, for this particular experiment. Thanks for joining us.